you have to calculate the sum of the number present in a string okay i hope you are getting it a question so hi my name is ashwini and welcome back to another video we will be calculating a sum of numbers present in a string in this video and this question is asked in a sd interview of kongi set so let's understand the question and we will see how we will solve this so they are not asking you to calculate a digit sum okay just uh, read a question again what they want to let me make you explain by the question they are asking you to just calculate the numbers like 12 and sum of the numbers 12 20 and plus 68 so if you calculate the sum of these numbers are 100 okay so you have to make a calculation and make a sum of these number which present in a string so how we will do that just say main this is your main question like uh, main method not main question so i need to make one method but for uh, just better understanding so you will say public static and it will return a integer integer and sum of digit sum of digit okay fine and it is expecting a string so we will pass a string in it the first very first thing which we always check in a question uh, before uh, attempting or writing any logic so we will say if my this s length equal equals to 0 then no need to do anything why i am just performing anything just return 0 okay and if i have something in my question or if i have something my string okay so i need to perform my logic right so here it's your logic so let's come down and we will write uh, things here what uh, first i want to take a uh, one string temporary variable or we will say a uh, string temporary variable and i will assign it to zero i will let you know why i am assigning it to zero and i am just taking one res and this will be a zero for my future purpose I will let you know how, why I am taking all these things, okay? And I am taking for integer i equals to zero and i less than what? Just basic method length, okay? Less than and i plus plus. Now, what you have to do the first check? If uh, let me take in a different variable character, and this is your current character, and you have to take out from character at. If your current character is equals to, right? you have to check with the help of character class with this character class i have some predefined methods so if your current character is a digit so then what you have to do just do one thing just tam and plus it by its current character okay i hope you are getting it what i am saying if i found a character just like one uh, i will just put into the tam that is zero so it at first attempt it will become like this uh, zero and again it's found two like uh, two and it will like one and two right so that what i want to do here else i want to do something that's why it's not one liner code that's why i put in a curly braces here because only one line code is going to execute if you are not putting a curly braces here here this is res and uh, plus res dot integer oh, okay my bad equals to integer dot parsing okay and what is your string you have to pass that is a temporary okay and temp again you can assign it to zero because once i got all the this 12 or 68 or whatever i present here like 68 or 20 i just again take it out into the res and assigning it to back to the temp equals to zero and when you are returning something back so you will say like uh, res plus Uh, integer dot percent integer dot percent temp. If something remaining in your temp, just hold it and return it to the back to the my column method. So what is the column method? Uh, let me create a one string here, and I will just use this demo string only. Okay, and because I am using this, I uh, already know the answer of it, right? So sum of that is it, and just pass it from here, and I am expecting my answer as a hundred. okay so if it is giving me answer of 100 then it will be a, a like good code or good logic so if you have not understood i will give you the 2 minute to that answer is 100 what i am doing here just we are taking a temporary variable and we are taking a one res both are just like a temporary variable so first if you found this uh, like uh, one here you just hold it into the temporary variable so your first string become uh, 0 and 1 okay 0 and 1 Okay, let me put a comment on it. Otherwise, it will be giving error. So zero and one, and you just take it out. And again, two came. You just take it out. And again, once your a came, you don't have anything. So just pass it. And 
put a 12 into the RES. Again, you got 2 and 20. You just take it down and, and plus into the 12. Again, you YZ, you make it 0. And again, 68, you just take it down and print up x68 here and returning it to the 100. So, this is the logic of this code. If you have learned something new from this video, just like the video and hit the like button. Do subscribe for such more videos. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.